Hey guys and gals, Vinny Vid Productions presents another BNSF 6951 video featuring our cousin Vinny. Anyhow, in this video is going to be part two of the BNSF slash AZCR exchange. We've already seen them do the exchange, now we're going to follow both trains back to their destinations. So with all that being said, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, after the uh, exchange has been done, we follow our AZCR back to uh, Matthew. <clears throat> and doing so, we're going to pass through Old Town Wickenburg. And we will follow this chain all the way back to Matthew. These locomotives, by the way, were done by uh, Ryan Adams. Uh, Vermont the Ralph fan. He uh, took two of my SD40s and painted them up for me. He says he's not happy with them and he wants to redo them, so we'll see how that's going to go. Alright, guys, here we are entering Matthew. And this will be either a crew change or this train will continue on out to Parkhurst, Arizona. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet what's going to be happening here, but he is going to find two, track three. Because he's the only track that's there. <laughs> I have not finished this yet. Uh, I need to add two more, two more tracks. But anyhow, uh, now that this train is safe here, we'll go ahead and follow the uh, ATSF. And this is the train that you guys saw. Um, <clears throat> with the meat with the lumber train. So we're going to go ahead and follow him back down to uh, Phoenix. Right now we're exiting Castle Hot Springs and we will be crossing the Agua Fria Dry River Bridge. And I told you guys in my last video that I love this scene right here just because of the way it looks and the nice gigantic size S curve. Just, I just love this scene. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, <laughs> gotta brag on myself a little bit here. Look at that scene guys, isn't that a awesome scene? Here I'm going to bore you guys watching this train go down the entire helix. But without this helix I could not do what I have done so far to this layout. I'm trying to get different angles for you guys so you don't see the same angles every single time I post a video. To be honest with you, I'm running out of angle. <laughs> but we'll just watch this train mosey on down the helix. I know this must be boring to you guys, but you can go ahead and skip forward if you want to. But, <clears throat> like I mentioned in my other video, um, this helix has been rebuilt three times, and so the time is charm, so that's what they say, uh, and I have absolutely no problem with my helix. Knock on wood. <laughs> it is not on wood, guys. <laughs> But anyhow, <coughs> excuse me.
Yes, sir, Bob. Getting close to the bottom now. And I'm estimating this train is probably feeling between 35, 25 and 35 miles per hour. Uh, and again, these, the helix represents all the little pounds along the way from Phoenix up to Ash Park, vice versa. And we should be exiting the helix here shortly. I tell you, <clears throat> these two Atlas uh, locomotives, they run great. They are D38, 3501, and 40, 2964. Uh, they both have the uh, track decoders in them. And I tell you, <laughs> they, uh, they just work great. So here's going to be a split right here. Only because I went in the wrong track. And have to be on the right track in order for us to do that meet. Which that meet will be coming up here in a couple of seconds. Or a minute or so. This is not Phoenix. Shifting around the curve now. And there was nothing wrong with the track there, guys. I just hit the throttle by accident. <laughs> and guess what's going to happen here? Yes, sir. This is the scene that was in my, one of my last videos. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so now you know how the guy, how this train got his load. With the exchange with the Arizona California Railroad. And you guys gotta remember that it's only me doing the camera, turnouts, and the throttle. This required two different throttles, by the way, to get this to work. Thing. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be that. Oops. Sorry, I had to take a clip out. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but then you have two clips back in there for it's supposed to be. Now we're passing uh, what would be 35th Avenue and uh, <laughs> and, Route 6, and Route 60 or Grand Avenue as it's called, as we know it. And shortly we'll be going to the second room, or room number one actually. And here we are on to route number one and we're going to take the back door into Mobet's yard. I really wasn't planning for this to happen. I wanted it to go straight in, but oh well. It's the same thing. We'll be, we'll be arriving on the same track. It's one of two that I'm going to keep as a uh, go through yard tracks. The others are going to be short enough to start in tracks. Having lots of problems with Atlas turnout, so I'm just going to take them out. I'm off the helicopter shot, I should put a helicopter sound effect in there, huh? <laughs> that Paramount Petroleum is no longer Paramount Petroleum, it is now some asphalt waste. Uh, and it is way, way condensed from what is actually there. And for you guys that don't know, is my depot does not even belong in this part of the layout. It belongs somewhere else, but I don't have all the room that I need to do it, so I put it where I had the room for it. And as you can see right now, we're going past the 
It's MRG or SRMB, so River Mine uh, Group. Um, they will be bulk cement machine. We watched our train pull into arrival track number two. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. DNSF 6951 out. AKA Cousin Vinny. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.